Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to the Windmaker HD, and welcome back to the Forest Haven. Uh, I got- guys, I just- After last episode and the traveling through the rain and all that stuff, it actually just got me so excited to even, like, play another area of this game. The first area that we kind of went through was, like, the home hub area of this game that, like, was so different to any hub in the game so far, or, or in the series so far, I should say. And then we went to, like, this island of birds. There was loads of talking animals there. There was, like, a talking frog, a talking fish, uh, there was a talking boat. He's my friend. Uh, there's, like, th and there was, like, 20 talking birds, and a lot of them were doing work. They were actually pretty sophisticated. At, at first, I thought they were just, like, stupid, dumb animals, you know, at the start of the game. You know, this talking- oh, what the fuck is this? Is that- is that the Diku tree? Uh, I gotta be honest guys, that doesn't look like, uh, no Diku tree to me. If you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying, can I, can I get them with this? This is what I'm supposed to get them with? Well, how am I supposed to get him? Well, well, what do you want me to do? I'm trying to save you, Mr. Deku Tree. What, what do you want me to do? Let's let's see. Well, let's see what Tetris has to do. That's always the best idea. What are you doing, Link? Oh, it's, the, it's not Tetris. It's the boat. Quickly, you must jolt those strange creatures off the Deku Tree's face. Uh, I don't. How do I knock? Oh, do I just do this? Oh, like this. Okay, okay, so it's just a regular knockdown. That was completely my bad. Now you're all gonna die. Like, I hope you realize that. The Deku Tree was pretty nice to me in Ocarina of Time. And if he's anything like he was in Ocarina of Time, I, I don't take kindly to people like you trying to, uh... What did I get? Green Chew Jelly. Keep it in your spoils bag. I will. Inside Green Chew Chews is a magical gelatinous essence, but it can't be used in the current form. Okay. I've got a lot of that. Someone tell me what that actually is for, because I'd actually like to know. I should collect this before... Okay, I guess I can't collect it. I have to talk to the Deku Tree. I don't mean to be rude, Deku Tree, but I can't read that language. I really can't. I'm sorry. Oh, I remember. I, I'm sorry. Oh, I can't. I'm so, I can't understand you. This is, this is awkward. I didn't know my uh, my Wii U was set to Hylian language. Is that Hylian? It's probably not even Hylian. I must apologize. Oh, what's his voice? Uh, I must apologize. I was in error. I saw your clone, and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass. I am the guardian spirit of this forest. Haven. The Dekun. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those... I owe you. So I actually looked at the audio levels while I was like recording that and it actually didn't look too good, so I'm just gonna do a different voice. <laughs> uh, I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? So it is true. Then you have come here because you are in need, or you have need of the goddess. I see. I knew it. There was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Koroks, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. Koroks? What are Koroks? Is Korok... What are- What do you call yourself? Link? Well then, Link, these are the Koroks, the spirit of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on human forms. But when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people, but to me, they will ever be my cherished little children. As it happens, you've just come in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold but once every year. It's about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once the ceremony is complete. 
I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. See, this is what I love about Wind Waker, right? Um, I was saying in my head, why don't you just give me the pearl now just in case someone steals it? But then he tells me, he gives me contacts, he says, an ill fate could befall us because the ceremony is actually important. That's all they need to tell me in these games. I'm like, ah. Oh. And also, the design of these little Korok things, top notch. What, what's up with this game? Who made this game? So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? We are not a great dignitary. Something terrible has happened in the Maka Maka. What is the matter, Linda? You are on, you and Maka are always late. No, it's not that, our great Duke Tree. Maka fell into the Forbidden Woods. What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but still Maka flew above the Forbidden Woods, and as he drew close to it... Foolish little Maka. Link, you have heard all this. The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hallowed island of our forest haven. Those woods. The whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems they have taken a child of the forest named Maka. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of the Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I am sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Maka for me? But, Dick, but Great Digger Tree, people cannot fly through the air. Ah yes, thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Link, I would guess from your size that you have heavier... <clears throat> excuse me. That you are heavier than my Korok children. Yet I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. What are you giving me? Oh, that's so... Look at the... <sighs> What is it? Oh, it's a leaf. Or like a, I guess like a, a, a type of leaf? I don't really know. I'm not really a naturologist or whatever they call them things. Hmm. Forgive me, Link, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? So... It's a bit of a heavy start. It's, it's a bit of a heavy start, I have to say, but... Um... Shit, what's happening here? Oh. Wait, whoa, 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 what am I, what am I, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on one, hold on one second, did young Karak, if you could please, okay, I guess I'm just gonna go for the right, okay, that's fine, that's fine, okay, oh, there. what was that? Apparently I can use these to fly up in the air, so that's how I'm gonna get up to his head. I was about to ask how do I get up to his crown, but I guess it's these leaves then. I like that, I like that quite a bit, I, um, I don't know how I feel about, uh, the design of the, De the Great Deku Tree. I guess it's just because I've only ever seen uh, a few trees in The Legend of Zelda. Okay, I can get better at this. I can get better at this. One second. Okay, I gotta, I gotta move forward when I'm doing it. I did it before. Um, yeah, I've only seen a few designs of like trees in, in Zelda in general. Uh, one of them being... Uh, oh shit, oh shit, we're gonna die. One of them being uh, the tree in Oracle of Ages, or Oracle of Seasons, was it? I remember seeing this tree and actually just, you know, as a kid, being actually just... Oh, I'm sorry I'm not getting this at uh, first try, guys. Like, I know it's not that difficult, I'm just... Okay, I made it up to the top of the leaves. Okay, that actually wasn't that hard, I was probably just over-exaggerating. Hello, how's it going, sir? Uh, wow, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep doing that until you get all the way to the top. Uh, if you shoot out of facing the wrong direction, don't panic. If you tilt that in any direction, you'll land safely back in the Baba Bud. Okay. Fair- oh, so I can just land safely back in the thing. Okay, cool. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so I don't need to like just- I can just go back into the same thing I went into before if I don't tilt it, I think it said. Ah, uh, I could be completely wrong and I'm probably- I probably am wrong. This is a Zelda game, so... I want to try and get this on first go at least. Okay. Oh, oh god, I can't believe this is even nearly working. Oh, and this isn't gonna work. Oh, it is. Oh god. Oh god, no. No. Oh, oh, how did I even land there? That was actually, that would have been terrible. That would have been actually just terrible. You got the Deku Leaf. Set it to that and use it. Okay, cool. Plant your feet on the ground and use the blow blasts of air on object to enemies. You can also jump in the air and use your magic power to drift through currents of the wind. Swordsman, over here. Oh, we have magic now. That's weird. So I have to go over there. 
Uh, please, you must fly over there using your Deku Leaf. Okay, let's uh, equip the Deku Leaf then. Um, we do not need this ring uh, for sure. So I have to jump. I think it is right. Oh my god! This, this, I've always wanted to do this. This is beautiful. Dropped out. Oh, I forgot. I'm just gonna take whatever in here. Oh, what's that? Is that magic? Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Hello, sir. I guess I have to go through here, right? Oh my god, I'm so in love. I'm so in love with this. Where are we? Oh, wow. Oh, I was right. We do have to fly over here. But that means we also have to take a leave. We can go back to the other area we were in before, right? And, uh... Oh, we have to use this for sure. We have to use this for sure. I don't need any help. I can, I can see what they're going here. I think I can see what you're going with here. I can see it. I can see it. Ugh. Oh, oh shit, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Okay, sorry about that, we actually got over here to this island, um, right as I was about to, like, actually go and do something, uh, really quick, but I'm back. I'm here with my friend here, what does he have to say? Um, nice job, Swordsman, it looks like you've already mastered using your Degu Leaf. You're a quick study. The first thing you should do is cut the grass around here to replenish your magic power. The entrance to the Forbidden Woods is on a much higher level than the entrance to our Forest Haven. In order to get up to such a high place, you'll have to catch the Swirling Updraft. Okay. Um. So I think, yeah, okay, we just have to go into this, like, thing that I already used already. Uh, once you're floating on high, just let the wind take you to the entrance to the woods. So we have to make sure the wind is, uh, in our general direction early- going in our general direction, I guess. So we have to wake the wind. Uh, where are we going? We're going like... Right over there, I guess? Is probably the best thing I can do. We have to wait for this to come back around though, so... How has your day been, Mr. K what are they called? Korox? Korox? Well, I forgot what they're called, guys. You're gonna have to actually correct me on all this already. Look, I can do this. The wind is going blowing in this direction, so we're, we're doing fine already. Oh, whoa! I don't know you could do that. Okay, so... Oh, no! No, what? Oh, so depressing. Oh, God, I, I didn't think that would actually happen. I, I'm being completely honest here. I'm not actually, like, being... I'm not actually trying to be stupid. I th okay, is it still going in the same direction? I think so. I think we wake the wind pretty good there. Uh, let's just make sure we have all our fluids. You okay, dude? Sorry about that. You probably think I'm an idiot now, but, um... No, no, I don't need to talk to you. That's okay. Yeah, that, I, yeah, I, okay. Oh, there should be like a skip function in this game. I'm having too much fun though. I, I want this game to last like three hours. Okay, so I should jump right about now, right? Right, and then, oh, okay, okay, okay. The updraft should guide me all the way there. It should. Now, I'm not saying that it will. Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're gonna do grand. Drop down. Uh, replenish some of our magic. Oh, thank god they have loads of magic here. Uh, see you later, guys. I'm just going into the Forbidden Haven or the Forest Haven. Is it called the Forbidden Woods? What's it called? We're gonna see the name of it here. Forbidden Woods. And there's even, like, some ports. So this is the dungeon. This is basically, I guess, what the dungeon should be, I guess? I don't know. Again, really love the idea that they're not just like themed dungeons or actually areas in the world. I lo oh, that was that a jump? Was that like a plunging jump attack? That's all oh, really cool. So yeah, I I play the game a lot, and I'm not actually just like uh, being sarcastic because I worry sometimes some people think I'm being sarcastic. I I genuinely think that this game is the best looking uh, 3D Zelda game I've ever played. But also, so far, it's really like doing, you know, a lot of stuff that I complained about in other Zelda games. Uh, it's really doing perfectly and improving on perfectly. And granted, that's not really like the Miyamoto's fault or whoever was directing this, whatever. Uh, or directed at all these games that the other games had some complaints for me. Because they're old games. They, they came out at a time that, you know, development on games wasn't exactly full to the brim with exciting new, I well, it was exciting new ideas, but like... The level of knowledge that we have now is what I'm trying to say. Because we didn't have that. We honestly didn't have that back then. Uh, I was barely born when Ocarina of Time came out. Um, a game that I truly do like. But at the same time, there's a few things in it that are like, yeah, I, I think I think that should uh, 
that would have been better now if it was made now, which it was. I, I bought Ocarina of Time 3D just recently, and there's so many improvements in that game as well. You know, and again, it's a limitation of the time. But again, you don't have to have much of a limitation of time when you're talking about aesthetic or... Uh, level design, which was all there in Ocarina of Time, which was great. Ambiance, all there in Ocarina of Time, all looked really good. And this game has more of a happy feeling to it. Not a happy feeling, but a, a great feeling, I guess. Uh, so this is like a door or something? Okay. I guess so. What the fuck? Oh, these things are like enemies. These are enemies, no doubt about it. Can I hook onto these things? Those are enemies. Those things are enemies. Oh! I thought this was like a chest thing. Where did I bring this? Do I put- oh, I, I probably put this here, right? Maybe? Can I throw this at that? <gasps> okay, so this is like a Deku nut, but we can't actually carry it, but they destroy- Maybe I could have hit that already with, with my sword, and I was just being kind of stupid about it. Oh, God. I have a lot of problems with these flowers, but hey, hey, what do you say? It's time to come and play with the tweeny. Oh no, don't jump. Don't. I'm just gonna stay in the same spot. I, I forgot, that, like, I thought the distance was less. Well, less than I thought it was gonna be, I guess is what I'm saying. Wait a second. Okay. These things look dangerous. Can I, like, attack them with the wind? Can I attack them with this? These things look like they're gonna stop me in my tracks. I guess there's nothing I can really do. I guess just. Oh, I should've used the fucking thing. I'm a goddamn edgy galoot. Hello. I forgot I had the, um... The whatchamacall? What the fuck is this? It's like a chest. I need, like, a Deku nut, though, like, or something to blast it. Because, yeah, I'm hitting it right now. Yeah. They're probably not even called Deku nuts, but assuming since it's, like, we're near the Deku tree, it probably is a Deku nut. Or at least something along those lines. Oh, that... Did that work? Oh, that... See, it works for a second, but we need like yeah, we need like a dig. We need like the full nut to bash this on its head. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Um, so I guess we can head back up to the place we were going beforehand, and I, I can be a little bit smarter this time about it. Okay, this time I need to turn all the way around to this way here, and where do we need to go? Okay, um, this might be, mm, no, it won't, be, it won't be a bit of a problem. I guess I could, I could probably get over there from there. Right? Right? I can! Where am I going from here? Where do, I, where do they want me to go? I have to, I have to see, I have to see. Here? They want me to go there, okay. Fair enough. Is there any particular reason? Probably to go over here. This is a long, elaborate plan we have here, whatever we have going here. I like it, though. I like it a lot. It's actually becoming a lot easier once I realize that I don't just have to, like, stay in the same spot. And then we go up here. Was this not the entrance? Like, oh, this is definitely not the entrance I came through. But it is something. It's a bomb. Oh. I don't want I do not want to set off that bomb. Not that I'll lose it. It's just that, like, okay... Oh, look at that purple! That purple's so- oh, there's still more. Still plenty more. Uh, I guess we can use this on this, I guess. Maybe? Yes! Which means I can use a bomb in that general area down there, but I don't think I'll make it down by the time it's, uh, by the time we're there. Okay, so we should probably make this trek just to see what's going on up there. Yeah, we'll go back if, if needs be. We'll go back. We'll go back if needs be. We'll go back if needs be. We're running out of magic, though. Running out of magic fa- okay. Oh, okay, I have to go over there. To this, uh... Wait, where do I have to go here? Um... Oh, I have to- okay, this way, this way. I think we have to go this way. And on the highest point of the jump, do this? Oh, God, I'm really worried at some point I'm gonna fail here. Don't ever look at me crooked again, you hear me? Oh, we- Oh, shit, I thought you were like Deku nuts, I was so happy. <laughs> I was like, we've done it. We've done it, we're gonna get that chest. 
We're gonna get that chased. Um, there's another thing over there that I didn't need a Deku nut for, which. Oh no, that's the Deku nut. Okay, how do I get over there? Um, I guess the the main thing would be to try to go in here first. Like we have a doorway, so use it. Um, I wonder what this does. Oh, so we can get over here, but wait. Oh, I don't know what to do here. Uh, do we hook? No, we do. Our leave? Our leave probably because this is like a turn. Yeah, it's a wind turn thing. <gasps> I fucking love this game too much. I love it too much. Stop being so good game, okay? It's just pure and simple, okay? Just stop being so good. And I won't have to praise you so much. Oh, Link, you're looking so cool right now. There we go. Jump. That was a that was a tight jump. That was a tight jump cuz look it's it's not, it's not it's not high enough to actually go. Oh, maybe it is. Okay. I don't know. Who knows? Who, well, what do I know? Oh, well, one of these things. I get some revenge from for for what you did to me. Oh wait, can I do this? Does that feel good? Does that feel good? Does it feel good to know that the one thing that you've learned in life, you learned, you learned how when your mother taught you when you were younger, she taught you how to fly, and that's the thing that's truly your demise. I wonder how that feels. Probably feels bad, man. Oh. You can blow away those leaves. Oh, that- I thought this was like a- A platform thing. <laughs> but actually, you know, they don't look like the platform things, so I should have been a little bit more aware. We'll be more aware next time, I guess. Oh, but that unlocked a- A jumping platform, right? Get these green rupees first, though. I love the sound design in this game as well. Yeah, you don't have the like the, the sound of Link's feet that you have, you know, when he like is walking through a building. Uh that you have in like other games. Uh in Ocarina, the sound of like Link walking through the uh the Temple of Time is just is haunting. It's absolutely haunting it is. There we go. Uh, oh god, what the fuck? See, we can't do it fast enough. We cannot do it fast enough. Oh, there's a Deku nut up there. Cool. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, uh. Does this move closer to us? Yes, it does. I like this mechanic. Oh, shit. Is something coming after us? I thought I heard something. Uh, oh, here we go. And then we just break this open. Is it an actual Deku nut? It is. Now I have to like. Okay, can I? How do I place this? I I I crouch, don't I? Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be awkward. Uh, this is gonna be really awkward. Here we go. Okay, and then I place this here. Gotta make sure I don't blow away the Deku nut. Oh my God! Stop being so fucking perfect with your goddamn. Level design, please. Please! Just stop it. Huh. Speaking of level design, guys, is anyone excited for The Last Guardian? I think a lot of people... Are you fucking serious? That's like a limited thing? Okay, we're gonna have to be faster this time. Is anyone excited for The Last Guardian? I don't know. I don't know if my audience is even like that, or even the people that watch this are, are, are Last Guardian fans. Probably. I think The Last Guardian is going to be fucking great. I'm excited. Okay, so since it kind of makes sense uh, that this is like... Okay, so we got to do this fast. We got to do this fucking fast. Uh, pick up this. And just jump this time. Just jump. But that, that didn't work. No! Oh, guys, okay, I'm gonna end this first episode, <laughs> this episode here, um, we're gonna do more after this. I'll talk to you in a bit.